And Monique BKB is done. Or he's going to try and get the jump off again. He's backing onto Yuragi with the toss combo. Yuragi gets burst there by the magical damage of the Grimstroke and the Bloodseeker. BCM. OG, they're still trying to fight. Amar's able to reset Portal back into the action, catching out Ori with the Dream Core BCM. Ori turns with the Avalanche. He tries best to juke this out. He's got Blink up in a second. He'll Blink down. So they still find him. They Curse Ground hits. They will. OG still able to find the majority of the kills in that, despite this time losing their carry. Yuragi does go down. Master still probably pretty okay with it. They lose Ori, but Monet able to scurry away. Look a little scared. Look a little scary for him for a second too, because his BKB was falling off. But they didn't have anything further to catch. But yeah, Yuragi. I'm surprised he actually showed up to this fight. Like he was very close, getting closer and closer to BKB, but once they get involved, gets punished. Can they catch BZM? We'll be down to Baboka. Let's see. He's sneaking. So you can find him in the trees. He's deep into the corner. Oh. He tries for, for an attempt. Won't quite be able to find him. Already out with the phase shift in the jump. BZM will be safe. TP just coming back online. And now he has Blink Dagger of his own. So much more elusive in the fights and will be easier access onto the Hoodwink and this Grimstroke that he's kind of has to go for as this puck in the fights. Now we'll see how quick Asta is going to be to, to look to try and take another fight. Let's see how much they can tank up to because the pipe could be pretty pretty massive for OG just to offset a lot of that damage and they don't really have anything that they can do that. Veil, Veil is actually finished for Taiga so a lot of magic damage that OG does actually have. I think that Asta, is amped up. They, they want to group up and go Asta, here's the smoke. I think they, I think this is exactly what they have to do really. Yep. Blink on XXS as well too, they have an easier form of initiation. They're feeling strong right now. I mean we saw that last fight, it was very close to, to being an if overwhelming they, win for Asta if they were able to kill Amar before he portaled out. They might yet get Yuragi, he has BKB coming on the courier. Oh, he's already out, jumps oh. over to the creep wave. That was close. So whatever happens now, BKB will be ready to pop here for the PA unless they can burst him there on the high ground. He might not expect the jump, but no, ready. The BKB's there. He's jumping Durant, in. He knows that they're going for the play on him, and he'll turn to make the play on them. Fear out is trying to push Ori back. BTM's onto the back line, catches the two supports with the Dream Call. They take down Ori, take down the Bojo, take down BQ. Exit is also the oh. ball. OG, they were prepared. The Shadow. I it's so crazy how these little things always add up, but the Shadow Poison, it breaks the blink of the Tiny. They can't get the initial jump. And it's straight to Roche. And, and it's right into Roche. I mean, what a reaction there. I mean, you, you could feel that Asta felt that they were in a perfect position to make that jump onto Yuragi. But They're up on the high ground, they see the PA. But the next thing they know, he's on top of them. Such confidence, right? Like, he just BKB jumps, he knows his team is going to be there for the backup. OG, continue this. Make this magic work for them. Level 17 PA on the way toward the shard next. It's definitely becoming quite the problem here, Yuragi. See, once again, this replay, they're up on the high ground, but as you say, just the way that OG, uh, and in particular Chu, was able to mess with their ability to get that jump. Chu is honestly just, yeah, he is on it, pretty much the MVP for me in a lot of these games for OG. The little things that he's able to do, the saves, breaking blinks, just kind of reading the map also to understanding where the movement's coming. Yeah, yeah no, 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 this amazing. man's insane. The, the plays that he's coming out consistently at Elan, and there's a, a relatively new face in, in terms of playing here at the tier one level, he, he's crushing it. Yeah, and I, I really wanted to highlight yeah. him also because he's about to have Aghanim's done, Owen. And this unlocks a whole new potential of the hero, the break, three different break charges. Also, when you get shard as well, you get three of your defensive purge things that can just totally kind of protect the PA in a lot of situations. Yeah, OG, I mean, somehow just doing it over and over again. Getting ready to push on here with the Aegis in their hands. Tier 2 tower. We'll see what sort of a defense Asta can pull together. Yuragi. Oh, they self, they're smoking just the two back heroes. Oh. Shadow Amar. Deep into the puck. He's just having to walk up and get the opening onto XXS. XXS will be able to put the BKB. Turns over towards Yuragi. Catches him with the Inkswell into the spear. But the pipe buffs there, keeping Yuragi protected. And they don't want to overcommit for a PA with an Aegis. Turn with the rupture, Yuragi jumps to the side, trying to force Asta to go a little deeper if they want to take the Aegis out of his hands. And Asta, look, they can't. They'll be able to protect the Aegis here on Yuragi OG. Look how Amar plays. Like, he's just literally standing on top of his PA to just block any spells, any toss combos, anything. He's trying to ensure that there's no toss back funny plays anymore. If they're going to toss back anybody, it's going to be Amar. Really good coverage again and again by OG. Playing aggressive here now, finding their footing with this Aegis. Now it's tough for Aster. They've been wanting to kind of play at this fast pace, but playing into Aegis now, 
kind of halts the aggression and gives OG the time to get this PA fatter and fatter. I've got the, the Halberd now, Monet. So good opportunity to shut down some of the moments of, of your Argy's physical damage output in the fight, so if you can be quick with the disarm. Does mean that his damage is going to be quite a bit weaker, though. I'm sure he does have Brigand's Blade, at least, and he has purchased up the Shard, which at least will help, but it's a very dis defensive item that he's gone for. Probably feels necessary, though, because PA's damage is starting to get quite insane. Level 18's about to be picked up. Deso on the horizon. Yeah, you see Aster, I think they are definitely feeling quite reluctant to make any type of aggressive move into this Aegis. Yeah, they may just have to wait this two minutes or so out. Yeah. Or somehow like split push side lanes and just try to catch people with the toss plays. But OG, they're just not giving that window. And it's also scary playing into the Underlord. It's similar to the concept of like this Dawnbreaker. You go for an aggressive move on one side of the map, Amar is going to come in and bring a pipe to kind of counteract all that aggression. Master, still gathered up. Don't worry. He's alone on the bottom. Oh, the setup's no. going to be there from BZM. Amar ready to follow it up. As indeed, as you say, Asta, you know, already trying to go for a bit of split push, but of course, OG, they've got all the tools to punish it. They always just bring the numbers. Oh, see, Asta, they're trying to prepare for the return. As they're here by the portal, Amar, he'll, he'll nope his way back out of there. But uh, back towards coming. the bottom because he's tanked the rupture. Okay. Demonic Purge thrown down onto Monet, clanging him out. Yuragi's going to look to try and come in and has been held back by the disarm for now. He's going to be able to bring down Tiger, but Yuragi's still a problem. He's at full HP. Aster, they don't want to get anywhere near this PA. Tried to set up for the rift, but everybody jumps in for Moji to join. Yeah, they were, yeah, we saw as soon as he gets the rupture on him, Amar's just straight back out of there. Yeah. So, all right, I'll, I'll pop back. And then I think he TP back afterwards, right? He TP'd onto the outputs that they have, so they still could just bring the number advantage versus Aster. I mean, that, you know, in, in conceptually, that is a, a huge thing to do, right? If anyone does yeah. get ruptured, Amar just drops down the dark rift, you just head into the rift. Yep, and then you come back yep. afterwards. Stays up for 20 seconds, rupture's only that 12. Ori. Shows his face for a second, gets hit, and now, I mean, Chu, Agonims is done. Yeah. So, we said, unlocks a whole different potential of the hero. I mean, he hasn't died this year. He has not. 1 He's 0 11. They've never been able to punish the Shadow Demon. No. It's phenomenal play, really, from him. And we haven't even gotten to really like, talk about like what Disseminate has gotten to do because it's a kind of a new spell, but you can definitely feel the power of it. It makes. Kind of the concept of it is it makes tankier heroes squishier. Let's make it the easy, kind of easy way. Sure, it makes all this cleave and stuff like that. Ragi. Definitely feeling hey, the He wants to charge him with these final moments of the ages. He's going to get the jump in over towards Baboka. Oh, man. Oh, and they're starting to run away with the game again. 30 seconds on this ages, but they've gotten so much out of this ages. The map control. I mean, Mone is, is still, of course, incredibly farmed, but the question is if, if he's going to be able to provide such an explosive fight from behind as he was able to do on, on so on the PA. It's him versus the world, and he's not a PA. You see Asta setting up. Ori but already again. the jump there onto Ori. Ori's gonna get caught out by OG before Asta could even make a play. They'll, this time they'll catch Chu in the arena into the silence. They will take him out. See what more they can find though. BZM is in on top of PQ. Yuragi turns towards Monet, ready to stand his ground against the Bloodseeker. He's ready to chase them down as well. They're, They're on trying Monet. to hold the back with the soul by Monet. Will manage to get the TP off in time, but XXS caught out beyond the tower by BZM and Tiger. Is three dead yet again on Asta and OG. They finally lose Chu, but that's all they lose. Oh, and they just keep finding Ori. He's having one of the rougher games I've seen in such a long time. Two six and two. BKB still not done. He's he actually held. The Echo Saber, rather than doing the disassemble play that we do see a lot of the times, he's gone for just picking up all the extra components, and he's paying for it. They keep just controlling him and bursting him down with all this magic damage. And, you know, understandably, you know, Chu has definitely been the, the threat. They, they really commit in for him there, but it, it costs them. And it's this deep ward also that was not taken out. We didn't really talk about it, but north of this fight, that ward is almost full duration. So giving them that, that sight to get on top of Ori and just always initiate on him. 7k lead now for OG with a PA, with now a freshly picked up Deso, level 20 picked up too, and the Titan Sliver. Everything's coming together. I'm the gonna, game's look, getting look, harder and harder. Up. Monet! Tiger just starts the fight onto Monet. He pretty much takes him down to a third HP on his own. He will die for his attempt there, Tiger. But very much seeing that the potential when he gets that setup and no BKB ready to protect him. Monet taking huge amounts of damage from the Dark Willow alone. I mean, Yuragi is still hanging around the area. He's blurred up. Maybe seeing if he, he finds a, a pick off on his own. They're trying to save the. I think they're trying to protect the ward as long as possible. Could be a bit risky. 
has to have the numbers here this time if OG do try and push into the fight. And Amal is teasing some of the action. They weren't headed to the triangle. They know that they're outnumbered here. They may have the lead OG, but not, not to a point where they can take a fight three versus five. No, definitely not. They thought about it, though, Chu, because he has the break. I think he was probably maybe saying, like, we might just be able to annihilate, like, just delete this Mars before the fight starts. But OG playing still disciplined. As they should, as we've seen Aster, even when they're at a deficit, have been able to take some remarkable fights this series. This one definitely feeling harder, but let's see what they can do. X success. And then Mr. Spear, Curse Crown kicks in. Money will try and keep him covered with the blood right. Causing OG to be careful with how they jump in. Ori over to the side, he's got to be careful. He'll jump in himself, actually voluntarily over towards Amal. Toss him back, but they've lost the Double rupture. Soul mind into the double rupture. XX has come in, but the BKB's off in time here from Yuragi. Yuragi attempts to stand his ground. They're putting out. out. Yuragi's getting low, but they're rifting they're out. out. They're away. They head into the rift, they get out of there. Tiger will stick around. He wants to keep fighting. He's in on top of Ori. Azori will run, but Yuragi he resets. He's back in. Jumps forward, takes down Ori. Again, Amar just providing these perfect uh, capabilities for OG to reset and, and choose how they want to take the fight or get out of there. Yeah, I mean, they're on some kind of like genius level stuff, right? Like from the draft now, they probably had this concept maybe in, in their back pocket yeah. and it's working out perfectly. Hey, you get ruptured, you get out of there. Yep, and then come back and you say, oh, okay, no more ruptures, no more soulbind. 10k lead, Yuragi yeah. now having freedom in the fights. And that's, I mean, this was like one of the more ideals for Aster. The BKBs did get off though. If XXS gets the spear pre-BKBs, which is, I mean, pretty impossible, then the fight probably goes their favor. But yeah, OG covering their bases perfectly every single time. And Yuragi pretty much having a full bash done after that fight. It's gonna be even oh harder for Mono to, to be able to stand toe to toe with him in a team fight. Now he might not even be able to walk away. A lot of these times, the only reason that Monet's actually surviving is because he's able to actually distance himself away from this PA. Now one or two bashes, Monet might just die. Now Tiger, very far out on his own, but they don't see him up here for now. Now Ori, he reveals himself there, and Ori very quick to get the jump. Being a little too cocky again, Tiger. <laughs> he has the blink dagger, so like kind of playing, like he can blink away, but yeah, Ori slaps that down. And now Ori, as we said, does have BKB, so a little bit safer. But yeah, three, seven, and three. They're gonna have to stay in the area around the Roche pit too. This is gonna be the next big determining factor if they're able to win a fight around it. It's so difficult for them to take a team fight. It really is. Now, when it comes down to, to these two carries at even net worth, we're very much feeling how much more explosive the PA can be. Yeah, like if, if they don't, it's, it's always a kind of finding supports, right? But if they don't find Chu, and Chu's able to just like get all three of his demonic purge off, one onto Mars, one onto Bloodseeker, and maybe just another one onto Bloodseeker afterwards, or onto Tiny, the fight is not easy. Smoke time from both sides, knowing the importance of being able to try and start this fight around the potential Roshri spawn. Or he has to get the initiation off. He has to just try to delete some hero. If they get initiated on the side of Aster, I think it's just going to go disastrously. Does have DD rune in the ball. Mm -hmm. Can one shot most of the supports if he does find them. Chu would be the big catch. Bursting through BZM is a little bit more difficult. He has got the components of the Eon disc ready to assemble. CMR also picking up a Lincoln, so trying to prevent versus that rupture. Just throwing it onto Yuragi probably inside of those fights, because then it, if Yuragi does not get ruptured, he is going to rip the fight apart. Roche is back up. OG smokes up, but Asta do have the high ground. They also just got a full AC on Monet, so quite a bit stronger. See how they can start the fight. Ready though. Three man room. OG is able to lead in on towards them. Asta's getting forced back. XXS has to put the BKB early. It's a BKB to run, though. See if they can chase on after this blink. Max XS will break him a far enough distance away. You'll see BZM drop the coil in. Trying to tease out a BKB reaction from Monet. Won't nice come into play. Up. He can step out. Great play there with the Inkswell. Knowing they can hold the BKB. But now, no BKB on the Mars. Does OG perhaps just start focusing onto the Roche? I think they probably can with the PA. And Aster, the pressure's on them. They have to kind of just keep poking their face and scouting out that Roche area soon. Even though they don't have BKB on XXS, this is a very difficult fight now for them. I know, do you know that? They want to take this fight. Mm -hmm. Yuragi sneaking in. I mean, Monet showing in the river. Yuragi's Yuragi. in. He's in, firstly bash straight away, but both are eliminated. Bash Rupture. as well from the dagger over towards Monet upon the BKB. Soulbind trying to hold back both Amar and Monet, but there's their control. As Monet's about to run, they've caught Yuragi in the arena. That's Yuragi jumping forward, picks up a double kill. As he's incredibly low, but he's backing off away from the fight. He's still, still alive. alive. In fact, he jumps back in, but it's into an avalanche. It's three dead on OG. Ori 
Still alive here for now, alongside both Monet and PQ. Finally, Astabath even Ori. there, but able to find more Ori. He's in with the jump to Amar, see if they've got the damage. He has got BZM here to help him out. Amar's gonna charge straight over towards PQ. Ori getting incredible low BZM. He's able to take him out at the end of Amar, trying to get up with the Rift. He'll manage to reset back to base. Asta, they'll get a few kills themselves, but again, not without their own casualties. A pretty damn good fight, though. Monet's actually able to get the he rupture lives. off, and then they see the TP out, and then they get the leash from the Soulbind to stop the TP onto Yoragi. And so. yeah, an incredibly split fight there. Yep. That's Monet the surviving, and well on the way now towards the Mione. Yeah, this AC actually, you know, him going for this kind of defensive pickups of items, the Halper and the AC, he's very tanky, and it provides a pretty good tankiness for his teammates, too, to survive a little longer. I'll see it again, here. Right when it ends. Ori, fair few fights now where he struggled to sort of have the impact that he'd want to with the way that OG being able to get the catch on him. This time round, a fair few spells causing issues for OG. And still, the tankiness and the ability to, to relocate out of the action with the rift. Let me bring a Mars moves. Right back in the action. You see both teams look to kick it off again. He's broken. That's got the BKB charge, holding on to it for now. Yuragi's still have just outpost control, in. OG, so indeed Yuragi's gonna be able to join them for this fight. And that ward's still on the high ground, it's seeing Aster back away. Tiger's trying to see if he can get the catch with BZM, and BZM's in to get the Dream Coil onto the two of them. PQ in trouble, Mono has to put the BKB, or he's gonna commit in, jumps over towards Yuragi, but hasn't got nearly enough damage to burst through this PA. As he'll put the BKB, or he tries to grab the arena's there, Yuragi getting very, very low, the fear, he's alive. it catches the three of the Tiger! Controls Aster and makes sure that Yuragi can live Stand his ground and heal back up. I think they even used the Lincolns. I didn't know if it was, I think he used the Lincolns onto Yuragi too, right before the rupture comes out. So no rupture either. OG again taking the fight. Taiga with his I mean with his dark will this whole tournament also. Perfectly placed. <laughs> Every there. time. Always yeah. controlling everybody. His team the one to be caught in the arena of XXS, but bang on target there with a three-man fear. Uh-oh. PQ. He's purged up. He's gonna get slowed down. They do have buybacks available on Asta, but they're going to be hesitant to want to use them. As Tiger walks in, gets in, cleans up the action. Then Amar gets that bonus damage, the Atrophy Aura. See how much he's doing to the and tower And they take him Roche as well, of course, Yuragi, able oh, to wow. easily solo this. So not only severe base damage being done to Asta, Yuragi, he'll be ready to turn up, and over he comes with the ultimate, immediately ready to continue this push from OG. Hi, right, this is just... <laughs> again, amazing team play, amazing team fights over and over again from OG, kind of covering each other perfectly. Always there with the saves, always there with the control and number. 14k. How can Monet do this by himself? It's uh, a lot of weight on his shoulders. Especially into like so much damage mitigation. Amar, now he's finally going to start bringing Braith back down as well soon. Trying Rupture's to start things on. off, or he's looking for the toss map, he's not able to find it. Defensive disruption comes out for two. Yuragi still tanks the sharpshooter shot, but that's the BKB from Ori. And he's having to use it to back off under the tier four tower. So Yuragi tees him with the jump over towards Mane. That's the whole rupture as well, too, gone. Yuragi now just continues to get healed by Chu. That demonic cleanse, of course. Yeah, buffing him up with the Lincolns as well, making it incredibly hard for Aster to get any sort of jump on him. Next. And they've got to do it twice. Has yeah. that Aegis here for the push. They have opportunities where they can do the tossback spears into tier fours, but it's not easy. They're trying again to get the angle, but they won't be able to find it. Not able to get the catch. XXS has to put the BKB. They do manage to get the push back out onto the two of the Mone. Moving in, but the bashes are there. Yuragi turns towards Mone. Mone has to split away from them. Back to Ori. the mountain. He's in no man's land. And the bashes caught him out. As Ori out of the game for 70. No buyback on him. No buyback on PQ. As OG, they'll look to keep this push going. The back door. Protection kicks in, but a new wave of creeps will be joining soon. So OG, they're not going anywhere. They'll take this tier three. They're still healthy and a freshly delivered Vlad. Smart. More life steal for Yuragi. Three minutes left on the Aegis still. Yuragi can also get that completed satanic delivered out to him. Oh, and they're actually gonna leave as a unit, go to bottom, take out the tower. Continue this pressure. The tier ones and tier two still standing on the bottom lane, but not for long. As OG will charge down this lane. Last fights looking to be for Aster if they can try to put up some type of defense because OG, they're going to bring it to them on this last Rax. BZM already in position. How do you even kill Yuragi once? I don't know. Uh, 
I, I don't think you can. We, we saw the potential of PA when it, it was behind last game. This time it's completely ahead. Jumping towards the base, they take out Boca. Has a buyback available. We'll see Ori back in five. Ashton, they'll definitely have one final fight in them. I mean, PCM's just jumping into the base. We'll lose the, the on disc proc here. They're trying to tease out the BKB of Mone. It's on cooldown. It five is for seconds. five seconds. He's got to be careful. Ori jumps in. We'll get the toss back onto Yuragi. See if they can deal with it once. But one three there. Yuragi just back up from full HP. Mone tries to run, but they'll take him out. Bye back to come in from Mone. They'll turn with the sharp shooter shot over towards Yuragi, but Yuragi's still good to go. He's surrounded by his teammates. He cannot die here. Azoji, they'll be back towards the Yuragi's objective. Mone. He gets more for the match. The BKB up with the physical damage. And Darren Froome is running back to the base. He's ticking down low. He'll get back to the fountain. Mone will live for now. But Ori feared back by Tiger. BZM jumping up to the fountain. Ori's out. No buyback. As Yuragi is ready to play with them here. Right up in the fountain. OG. They've been known to dive before here. They might get up at a mark. He'll get speared back into the fountain. He's dead. But the Raxes, the Megas. So the Megas are out. Yuragi actually hitting tier fours instead of going for Megas, and that will be it. See if they can do anything four versus four. I mean, BZM just has no fear. I mean, he's just with the three man dream call. Mone's in trouble. They try and push back. The two of them, an XXS with the spear and the rebuke, will buy some He's got it up. up. Jump in there. Chu has the burst to finish off Mone. Out for 100. GG GG is gone. OG, they've done it. And they've done it clean. Three games back to back against Asta, a team that looked terrifying in their upper bracket run. But OG, they turned up today, and they gave us arguably the best that we've seen in anywhere in quite some time. These three games, a masterclass from OG, despite Asta's best attempts. The best attempts to even try to counter a PA, but the PA counters, they didn't work. OG, they have an idea, it works perfect. This Underlord last pick, genius, really. And, and this, this team's insane. It really is. Turning up, and you've got to get.